Hello everybody. Came across this TV stand somebody was giving away for free. This is a Z-Line Designs stand. And I was a little confused as to how this top piece of glass, this glass standing on its edge here, attaches to the top shelf. I've removed the bottom shelf, but there's a, there are three shelves here. So there's a bottom piece of glass, there's a middle piece of glass, and there's a top piece of glass. And obviously the first thing you do is you go online and see what you can find. And the first thing I found were a lot of complaints about the glass breaking unexpectedly. Nothing sitting on it, the glass would just break. And I think I figured out what's causing that. And I think I've come up with a solution on how to mount this top shelf. It appears to me that the top shelf is glued, believe it or not, to this spot here and one on the other side. So there are two of these spots that are glued and you can see some evidence of the glue failure here. So glued there and there. And obviously that's a solution that doesn't seem to work very well or re very reliably. It may work for a while. Let me show you my solution to this problem to make this thing completely usable again. So the first solution I've come up with is very simple, not very elegant, but very simple. It's just tie a very strong piece of rope. I've illustrated it with this green and black rope here. Just tie it to this and tie it to the back and that will should be enough support to hold the glass. So that's one approach. The second solution would be to run a steel strap maybe an inch wide from this point to this point. You can attach it by removing the screw here. You could run the strap underneath here and the strap up to this point underneath here on the underside and that would accomplish uh, the same thing as the as a string I've depicted it with this white string here but, but a one inch strap from that point to that point one inch wide steel or some material that doesn't stretch but it's got a lot of strength to it would probably be a very suitable solution. So here are a couple of other ideas on what you could use. This is a mending strap. Use something like this. Let's see if I can hold the camera here and do this. Attach it from point A to point B, back here to the front, to this point with just a larger hole. And last but not least, just a uh, piece of coat hanger wire. Coat hanger wire, easy to work with, very strong. Bend it, twist it, wrap it so it won't unravel, and I think you could easily attach this point here to that point there underneath, underneath of these. So put the coat hanger around that, Put this piece back on, on this end, remove this, wrap the coat hanger around the threads of the bolt that comes up, and then reattach this piece. And then you'd have a steel line running from there to here, steel wire running from there to there, and that will keep this from falling down. Here's my final solution, everybody. This is a 1 8 inch diameter steel cable and I'm using aluminum ferrules. I'm not going to use the stop. I'll be using just the aluminum ferrules. And you can see here's one ferrule. Here's another. And I've stretched it from the support arm to the back frame. And I think that's going to work great. I'll trim this off here. And then I've left a piece of black heat shrink tubing just so I can dress up the end a little bit and not have that cut wire exposed. So lots of different ways to do this. 
this is pretty simple. It's going to be very strong. I would recommend against putting a post from here to here and resting it on this glass because this glass is not sitting against this frame. There's a little gap here because of the rubber uh, bumper. So the glass is not sitting on the frame. So if you put a rod from this point to here all the way to the top shelf, it will be resting on this point on the glass. And I think that's probably too much stress at that point. There are my finished supports. Let me put the glass on top of it for you so you can see what the side view looks like. So there it is with the glass on top of it. You really can't see the steel wires. I think they look pretty good. They're super strong. Very simple to do and looks good. Thanks for watching. If you found this at all helpful or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.